Attention, you will need a jailbroken iDevice with iOS 6 or above for this to work. If your iDevice is not jailbroken, you can click on the screen below. Make sure you own the games you are downloading from the Google The Beat Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a PSP emulator on your iDevice. Now, some of you guys may already have this emulator and are experiencing some crashing in the actual emulator. So, I'm going to be showing you how to get it if you don't have it and how to fix it. Now, to do this we're going to go into Cydia. And once Cydia loads, we are going to go into the Sources tab. I'm using an iPad, so if you're using an iPhone or iPod Touch, go into Manage and then Sources. And then we are going to add... A source if you do not have it. If you do not have PS PSSPP, which is the PSP emulator, then you're gonna add this source right here, which is Cydia dot Angel X Wind. And if you already have PSSPP and it's crashing for you, then you're also going to add this source right here. So go ahead and add the source, and once it's done, you should have a source that looks like this, and with that icon there. Now, if you're experiencing crashing, then that means that you have the Avenger source. And this source has the latest PPSPP, which makes it crash. So if you do have this one, go ahead and click on the top right, Modify, and Uninstall. Then we can go back into the AXW repo, which is probably finished for you guys by now scroll down to the P and we are going to install this one as you can see right here and it is the earlier version which doesn't crash on most devices I've tested it on an iPad an iPhone 3GS an iPhone and an iPhone 4 so you can go ahead and click on the top right install and confirm I already have it installed so you guys just go ahead and install it now PPSPP is a PSP emulator for iOS devices, it is also on Android devices and many other platforms including Blackberry. Now you're going to need up to date devices to play PPSPP at the best that it can play. So I recommend the new iPad, iPad 4, iPod Touch 5th generation, iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, those will all run PPSSPP very well. So make sure you pick one of those up if you're going to be using this emulator. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, this is not the end of PPSS PP. You will need games to actually play the emulator. So, if you would like to learn how to get ROMs or games, which is the same thing on PPSS PP, then click on the iPad on your screen or follow the link in the description. As well as, if you like this video and would like to see more of PPSS PP, click on that green subscribe button.